after I hit the buzzer beater uh, against oh, UCLA. Yeah. That was crazy. Like, we got to talk about that too. My my phone and especially like my DMs after that was ridiculous. Went crazy. The DMs went crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, it was ridiculous. Like yeah. there was like every celebrity was in it. Like yeah. I remember like uh, Patrick Mahomes had like mentioned me on his story and yeah. like a bunch of actors and like everybody in the NBA and like that right. time like I haven't I hadn't got here yet so like, yeah. it's still like no I feel oh, I feel like, it's crazy that's it's, how I felt when I uh, when I made my decision to go overseas on ESPN like I felt like my whole phone yeah. was like literally like about yeah. to break it was crazy with people um, no no that's a that, that's definitely crazy what do you think I like, speaking but speaking on like that moment how was that moment like you played in the final four you played in one of the most memorable games in the final four and you hit one of the I would probably say top three, top five biggest shots ever in NCAA history. Like, how did how did that feel? Like, did you did you understand it at that moment? Like, because I've hit shots in my life, mm-hmm. I've done things in my life where, like, in the moment, I'm like, yo, there's no way this is happening. Like, I remember I I remember I had a uh, a dunk on Seti Osman like my rookie year, and I was literally like in my brain like, yo, this is a movie. <laughs> and like for what you did, it's like yo, it had to be like times ten. Like, yeah. So like, how did you feel when 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 that happened? It was it was crazy. Like I couldn't I couldn't even think. Like that was one of the like only times like I remember afterwards, like, you know, of course in the moment, like I just wanted to celebrate. Like my family was in the crowd. Like it was all the cardboard people. And I like, guess when they got like a picture of like when I was on the table. Right. Nothing but cardboard fans. But right. like right above it was like all like the fans who I were could come. Yeah. And that was right where my family was and everybody. Uh so I remember I just got on the table and I just celebrated right yeah. in front of them and like all the fans, uh the Gonzaga people were in that corner and they were screaming. And I just took it in with the team. But like afterwards, like that was one of the only times I couldn't speak. Like, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good at interviews and like, right. you know, I never really get like caught up on my words or anything, but I like, I kept saying the same thing. I, yeah, I mean, there's I nothing more anything. to say. Like that, that, that moment's going to be ingrained in basketball history for the, for the rest of. It's crazy. It didn't, it didn't hit though until about like a week after the tournament. Cause I didn't, I didn't want to watch it. I didn't want to watch the shot again. I didn't really want to talk about it like that. That'd have been crazy. Yeah, yeah, because like we we still had a game to play. You yeah, know what yeah, saying? yeah. So like, yeah. It was the championship game to play. Yeah, and we went to overtime. We already had the late game, so like we got back to our hotel, and like by the time I shower, I like get in my. I bed mean, by the time you shower, you lay get down. in your bed. You look at the TV. You're on the TV. Exactly. I don't want to turn the TV on. You're, you know you're on sports right now. I gotta turn my phone off. Right. So like it's like two a.m. and I'm like finally getting to bed from the game. Yeah. And we got to get up and go to practice the next day and start our national championship preparation. So like it didn't really hit me till like a week later, and I watched it. I started watching it a couple of times. I was like, dang, like that. That was crazy. 